Hi everyone, this is Susie with Creative Cafe and this is part three of my Old Curiosity Shop album tutorial. And uh, anyway, I've got my uh, box decorated and so I'm going to show that to you real quick. I did um, use a Tim Holtz fastener with a little um, door plate here. The, the, or, uh, looks like a door plate out of the chipboard tags from the ABC Primer collection. And anyway, that's what I've done. Just popped up some little um, things there. And then here is the inside of my little flap there. Here is the back. Um, this is actually some chip or uh, uh, cork, looks like cork board. And I just have to show this to you. It's from Karen Foster Designs. And it's really thin and it just looks like cork board. I found it at a, a scrapbook store there in Branson, Missouri that's on Highway 76. So if you're down there, you'll have to be sure and check them out. Um, it's Forever Scrapbooks or Scrapbooks Forever. I always get the name backwards, but anyway, you need to check them out if you're ever that way. And um, anyway, so I bought a couple of sheets of it while I was there and I thought it went perfect on the back. So this is my decorated box um, right here. And now I'm going to show you how to make um, the inserts. And I have one insert that is decorated and one that's not yet, or uh, has, hasn't even got the insides in it yet. But here is one that does. And um, I'm going to show you how to make the insert in this one. And then if I have enough time, I will show you how to do um, the little booklet. So, anyway, here we go. Now, to make the inserts, um, if you're making them a half inch, then uh, what you're going to need is you're going to need four pieces that are cut identical. You're going to need four pieces of cardstock at seven and seven eighths by eight and a half inch. And what you want to do is on your eight and a half inch side, you want to move it over a half inch and score so that you have a little half inch flap there. Now, if you're going to measure from this side, just slip it to the 8 inch mark and then run your uh, scoring tool there and get it scored. So, or your bone folder, or whatever it is you use to score with. And anyway, you're going to have need two. Two of them will make one insert. So, once you've got that done, on one of your flaps, you want to be sure and um, get you some either half inch tape, use your fourth inch tape and kind of double it good, but you want it good and sticky, uh, or if you're using glue, whatever it is you're going to use. And then what you want to do is take it, and all they are doing is setting one on top of the other. That is exactly what they're doing. And I usually just try to get them uh, even. I kind of move it with my finger there, trying to make sure that I'm even. And then I just kind of press it together. And anyway, there is my there is my insert right there. Now to make my uh, top with the eyelets. Now in these I used the regular size eyelets. Um, they're not the extra large or extra wide, and I can't I can't remember the size of them, but they're just the regular size, the one that you use most often there. Uh, anyway, and what I do is just take my ruler, and I know that I cut this, you know, the seven and seven eighths is what it's going back and forth. Um, I didn't I don't cut it a complete eight inches because the box, if you get it exactly the size of the box when you're sliding it in, you're going to have a little trouble. So I just take that little eighth of an inch, which isn't very much, but it's just enough to um, keep that from um, sticking as it goes in the box. So all I do is I take my ruler, and it's going to be backwards to you, but um, I just run it a little over uh, the in, where I, my ruler starts here and I'm not completely on the 8 here and I just kind of find my center there at 4 and then um, I went 5 and 3 fourths 
and then I went over here to two and a fourth. That way I have the same amount on both ends here. So it gives me an even, an even amount on that top. Now I did have to use my big bite to be able to get in here. And um, before I do that, I also added a little strip of the ABCs here on this. And you can do that uh, on my Curiosity Shop. I just simply added a piece of the, uh, was it black cardstock? Um, that's all I did. Just to give it a little extra, you know, just a little extra. Because you're going to be pulling on that. And what I did was I just took my big bite where I marked my holes. And when I marked my holes, I try to, I try to make sure I'm kind of centered in the, centered in the um, half inch piece there. And then once you have done that, then all I did was just take my eyelets here and just set them in and then punched them down. And then of course tied my ribbon through it. And uh, anyway, that is how you make the the basic insert. Now, um, I'm probably just going to have you get ready because I don't think I have enough time to um, show you completely how to get the booklets together. Um, so what you're going to need um, is f eight all together, uh, four for each insert. Uh, you want to cut a uh, six and a half by nine. You're going to want eight pieces like that. Or you can use, you know, uh, uh, six or I wouldn't go any under six but you could go actually more than than um, eight as long as you keep it on an even number you know ten twelve but uh, anyway that's what you want you want to cut uh, for mine I cut eight pieces and they are six and a half by nine and then what I did was I scored it on the on the nine inch side I have scored it at four and a half and then just folded it so anyway, if you want to get them ready, then I'll do part four of um, this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching.